Hello, welcome to another video where today we're going to be looking at some strength training exercises you can use to improve posture. All right, so one of the first ones is a very, it's a very simple one, is a deadlift. Um, and this one is more of the Romanian deadlift. Um, a very important exercise for back pain. Um, anyone with neck pain or lacking you know, shoulder pain even. It's such a great exercise because it's just really helping you to stand tall. All right, so um, now there's an important thing in here that Mel addressed halfway through it, and I'll just go back and play it. On the very first one, if you watch when she's down at the bottom here, see where her head tilts up like that? Um, that's, that's actually, the reason people do it is they're trying to find extension through here, but, but tilting the head up like this really jams the back of the neck there. So what you really need to do when you're doing this deadlift, and you'll see when she gets into this one towards the end once, see how her head now is much more neutral. So she's still gaining her thoracic extension, but she's not jamming the back of the neck. Imagine that she had a stick on her back and it would keep everything neutral. All right, so this is a, such an awesome exercise for posture because it just really creates that anterior tilt that with the pelvis that people need um, and just shows them how to stand up tall in that nice position where, where everything will line up just where it should. Um, so when they're there, you'll get that, that ear, shoulder, hip. And beautiful posture. So with load, strengthens things that need it. All right. So then moving on to the next one. Now again, there's a lot of exercises I might use. These aren't the only ones. Some of these may not even be useful. They actually may contribute to problems. But this is an, uh, one that one of the guys likes to use to help people for, um, to improve their ability to stand tall again. And it's just really moving overhead um, and trying to keep everything in a nice straight line. And you see Dylan here sort of tucking his head under a little bit too much. So he's trying to sort of do what Mel didn't do. but. Um, bring it in and he so starts off easy and then starts to build into a bit more of a strengthen his legs into the squat pattern and then he'll come up into that standing tall onto his toes which is actually much more efficient than standing flat on the floor but a great great sort of an exercise if you've got access to this where you can really just get that really opened in extension everything in extension is what re is missing in posture because everything's sort of heading into flexion all right so you think anything extension related is going to be a very useful exercise for you. All right, now moving into more of a stability exercise is another one where most people really underestimate the power of this one. This one has a lot of moving pieces, so um, it's mainly the hips and the abdominals that it's known for, but and, and it definitely is probably the, the priority here. So again, Nathan's got to keep the same thing that we saw with Mel. He's got to keep that neutral curve. Abdominals have got to stay under the they're under load here because he's moving his hips a fair way um, but the thing that often overlooked here is the roll of the shoulders here this is stuck in a static push-up position so a weakness in in this position will create compensation at this position so a great exercise you can use to um, to enhance stability and, and strength through through the whole thing and, and it really is lengthening him out you see he's having to stay in extension but he's got to learn how to control it from the stability of there and there. All right, so an awesome exercise, the, the prone jackknife with the Swiss ball. Um, you know, and, and if you, uh, slow reps on this, uh, high repetitions would be nice. Um, you know, a lot of these ones, again, the, the slower, slow twitch muscle fibres are really the ones that are creating a lot of the problems in, in posture. Now, if we see um, Mel... Coming back to the, the similar to the deadlift, now doing the bent over row. So quite a tricky exercise for many people to get right, but if you can master that deadlift, you know, you can really start to get into this one and see where she's really trying to find where her head needs to be. But this is really building a lot of strength into the back muscles, but maintaining for a long period the point of um, where she needs to be for her, her posture to be stuck in this bent over so that pelvis stuck in that anterior tilt so important for um, really providing good extension um, now one thing that we haven't included so far is maybe a stretch or something so this is a, an interesting mobility drill that you could use where you're really trying to mobilize the hip and the thoracic region at the same time they're the two regions that usually contribute to the fault to the horrible looking postures and where we're stuck in flexion too much so Dylan just give you an example there and then he's doing the other side. So the thoracic part is where, he, where he's releasing as he's coming around. So that'd be his thoracic mobility there. Um, 
and the and if I just go back to where he was before, you see it better there. That that's where his hips sort of loosening up through here. So we're sort of getting a bit of both, um, and that's a great great drill you can use, maybe between sets, maybe at the end of the workout to to help you. Um, next one we have is the prone cobra. This is another. Um, very simple exercise to do and really building strength into the thoracic, thoracic extensors to hold you up. So a bit like what Mel was doing with the, um, the deadlift but we're just using gravity as the load, we're not lifting any barbells um, and you would want to hold this for at least 10-15 seconds. Try to get it built up to about 3 minutes of total time for a set. If you can get to 3 minutes of total time, very, um, it, it really starts to make a big difference. Um, with his hand position there, you'll notice the hands have got to be supinated to be turned away because usually people are stuck in pronation. So you'll see Nathan here um, will show us what it looks like when it's... So that's good. You can see his hands are pointed away. Um, when, what we'd often see with people who sort of get this wrong or that they're stuck in pronation too much, you'll see that their hands will, will uh, actually t turn over a, a bit. Um, I'm not sure if he showed us, but no, you, we didn't get to see that. All right, so that's a great exercise that you can use right at the end of the workouts um, to, to give you, you know, a big bang for your buck in the thoracic extensors. The very last one I'm going to show you here, another sort of strange exercise, very low intensity. This is really to build that strength in the neck again. And that's where you use a Swiss ball, tongue on your roof of your mouth, and you just push into the Swiss ball and then hold it for about 10 seconds and then release and then you're just basically pushing, trying to get that. So there's two things happening here. There's a stretch at the back of the neck and there's strength and stability at the front of the neck here. And, this, and, and he's basically trying to get rid of a forward head posture. So that ball is sort of pushing his head back to where it's supposed to be. So quite a simple exercise. Doesn't look like anything's happening, but trust me, it is when you try it. Um, yeah, and if, if there's some great exercise there that you could use as a little workout that all provide extension also making you um, control extension so you don't over hyperextend your lower back and, uh, and, and really keep control. Do all those things and you can really build some tremendous strength. All right. I hope you enjoy that. We'll see you on our next video.